name is Donna and today we are here in what I believe is one of the most famous attractions of Rio uh, alongside Christ the Redeemer and the Sugarloaf. I'm talking about the Botanical Garden. This is a huge garden built in uh, by the time that this is, was still a colony from Portugal and it houses many many plants and specimens and fauna and flora really for many parts of uh, the country and the world. And I wanted to show you a little bit more about this place because usually I see people putting like a couple of cakes here but they don't really show you everything around and I think this is a great place for you to come. So if you want to see a little bit more about the botanical garden, how it looks like, just watch this video that I'm going to show you everything that I, I find that is interesting over here. So let's go and check it out now. The Botanical Gardens uh, here in Rio, it was created in 1808 when the Portuguese royalty moved from Portugal to Brazil and it was created with the intent of becoming a conservational area and a kind of a place where they could have all of the species that would actually respond well to the climate here in Rio and in Brazil. It wasn't necessarily for being nice and beautiful, even though it was, but it was more for like being able to have rare species that would potentially be uh, beneficial and profitable for commerce once they got here, because obviously uh, the Portuguese crown had just moved to Brazil and back in the day, the trade of like nature products was one of the main things so they wanted something that they could actually use for commerce so it started like that and also for some reason um, a gunpowder factory was also put in place here i'm not too sure i'm gonna try and find out but i'm not too sure what those two things have in common but they were both put here in the same location so behind me here the, the statue you see is uh, king john the sixth of portugal and he was the one that moved from Portugal to Brazil and the one who created the park, the Botanical Garden, back in 1808. places you probably want to know and take your pictures for Instagram and like just walk around is this huge boulevard of palm trees over here um, this has been here since the time this was built um, obviously they're very tall now it's been more than 200 years that they have been here and at the end over there you're gonna see the Muse fountain so that fountain is also very iconic over here so we're gonna go walk over there and talk a little bit about it so we got here to the fountain and this fountain here used to stay in the Lago da Lapa over there uh, near the arch uh, in Lapa where you usually go for nightlife however it never worked over there so in 1895 they brought it over here and they installed here and then it started to work the, the fountain it, it was actually manufactured back in Derby in uh, England uh, and it has four muses, as I mentioned, like it's uh, the fountains of the muses and each of them has like a symbolic object of their literature or poetry or music, all of the elements that they are the muses for. So it's quite a beautiful fountain and it usually goes very well like when you're coming down the, down the long palm tree uh, corridor that you see the fountain at the end, it's, it's a very beautiful view and it's usually one of the entrances of the park where you can just come in and then from here you can go to the other places that we are about to see now. So let's check them out. The botanical garden has many many species from all over the world not only from brazil and in here it's very peaceful very quiet you can come you can there's a lot of things you cannot do here so for example you can't really ride bicycles or um, have any sort of equipment with you like 
roller skaters, skates, skateboards and things like that. You cannot also sit on the grass, um, but they will have plenty of benches, plenty of places for you to rest and sit and shadows. But it is a very, very good place for you to just come. It's really quiet. You can barely hear the traffic. Um, there are many, many beautiful views like the one behind me and you have lakes, uh, waterfalls, uh, many different types of plants. You do need to pay to come here. So foreigner visitors, it is 60 reais. And then if you are from the Mercosul uh, community, so here in South America, the countries that are part of the Mercosul economic bloc, they pay 45. And if you are Brazilian, then you're gonna pay 24. And if you're from Rio, 15. So it will really depend on um, who you are. The prices change and vary. Unfortunately, here, differently from um, other places, if you do not live in Rio, uh, you cannot pay half uh, because in a few places you can only you can pay half if you are born in Rio. So for my fellow Cariocas, if you were born in Rio, like Sugarloaf and Christ the Redeemer will accept that for paying half but in here you will need to pay full price if you do not live here in the, the bigger uh, metropolitan area in Rio. Atlantic Forest Trail and this is a, a bit of a newer area for the park for the botanical garden this is where they brought many species that are rare either because of the human action or because they are rare just due to the nature of the species so um, they brought many of the those species from another conservation area over here that is like the last flat part of the Atlantic Forest still up that had not been impacted by uh, urban development and they brought many of those species here to be uh, preserved and conserved here uh, to try and avoid them from disappearing completely or going extinct. Um, so this trail over here, it goes from the, all the, the way on the entrance near the cactus area until here at the end, uh, at the very far end of the, of the park. So perhaps if you want to go around and then just go through the trail either in the beginning or at the end of your walk, that could be a good idea as well. It's called in English the silk cotton tree or sumauma in Portuguese and it's one of the largest trees in the world. This is original from the Amazonian forest and I actually have a video in another neighborhood which is amazing like it's a little island over here in Rio that has a baobá which is an even bigger and larger tree so if you want to see that one check that video out I'm gonna link it here somewhere but yeah I just found it really interesting to fight it. So yeah, just a little awkward run over there so you can see how big this tree is. And also if you're enjoying the video, if you're enjoying seeing how the botanical garden is, please give me a like, let me know down in the comments if there is anything else you'd like to see or know about it. I'm more than happy to, to help you with that. But yes, huge tree. <laughs> came to a quieter area here of the park because my mom was sitting here when I was filming and she told me she saw three toucans over here so if you like bird watching coming to the botanic garden might be a very good idea because you 
have plenty of opportunities to just sit on a bench and watch them. The park is open from, on to, from Tuesday to Sundays from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. and on Mondays from 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. So that's a great opportunity for you to come early in the morning, enjoy. I'm here on a Saturday and it's actually not that busy. It's, it's very good even for you to come like on a, on a weekend, it's not too busy. Um, you can come with your family or with your partner or just even by yourself. Um, so yeah, that's, I believe that's a great option if you want to enjoy a little bit of peace and quiet in the middle of the hustle and bustle of the city. So let me know down in the comments what you thought of this video, if you enjoy knowing a little bit more in depth of each attraction. And I will see you on the next video. Bye!